Today I'll show you three super easy graphic animations you can make in CapCut using free elements from Canva. Let's get started. First, create the elements in Canva. Open Canva homepage. Create a new design. In the Elements tab, search Black Background. Under Photos, click one you like. Then click the three dots and choose Set Image as Background. Now in the search bar, type Grid. Choose a grid photo, add it to the page. Scale it to fill the canvas. And set Transparency to 60%. Click Share. Download. Choose PNG. Slightly increase size. And download. This gives us a crisp background. Add a new page in the same file. Change the background color to green. In Elements, search Sun or Clouds. Select Graphics. Click the Filter or Settings icon and enable Animated to show moving graphics. Pick one and add it to the page. Go to Share. Download. Choose GIF or MP4. If you want to remove with Chroma Key, export with green background. If you want instant transparency, check Transparent Background. Only current page. Hit Download. Back in Elements. Turn off the animated filter. Delete the element from the page. Back in Elements, Graphics, pick a still sun or any shape. Go to Color and change it if you want. Click Share. Download. This time, choose the PNG file format. To remove with Chroma Key Export with green background, if you want transparency, check Transparent Background, select only page 2, and download. That's your still PNG. Elements ready. Let's animate in CapCut. First animation, clean background plus pop-in graphics. Drag the background onto the timeline. Go to Effects. And add Vignette Effect. Then search for the Black Noise Effect and add that too. Stretch both effect layers to match the full length of your background. Go back to your media files and drag your first animated graphic. Scale down and place at the bottom of the frame. With the clouds selected, go to Animation, In, and choose Fade In. Next, add a text layer. Text Add Heading. Go to Text Basic. Delete the text and press the dash key a bunch of times to make a line. Turn on the glow effect. Choose the free option and rotate the line to minus 90 degrees so it's vertical. Make it smaller and center it. Trim the text layer to match your background length. Go to animations and give that text an in animation called type one and set duration to one second. Go back to your media. Now add your second graphic, the sun. Trim the layer to match your background length. Scale it down. Place it at the top of the dashed line. Go to Animations and give it a fade in animation. That's our first look, friends, simple and clean. It took only few minutes to create. Moving on to the second animation, glowing chart bars. Drag a vertical PNG bar into the project and place it on the timeline. Click the Crop tool and adjust it like so. Then click Apply. Scale it down and move it to the right. Then duplicate it four times so you have five bars total. Next, line them up side by side. Select all bars adjusting their size and their position as you like. Select the first line bar from the right side. Go to Basic, click on Mask. Choose Horizontal. Rotate the mask to minus 180 degrees. Then drag the mask down until the bar disappears. Move the playhead to the start. Add a keyframe on position. Move the playhead 20 frames forward. Now slide the mask up to reveal a small part of the bar and click Done. Repeat this for each of the other bars. Apply the horizontal mask, rotate minus 180 degrees, start hidden, keyframe at frame 0, move 15 to 20 frames forward, then slide up to reveal a little. This creates a staggered, rising look. To finish, go to Effects, Search Glow, and apply Edge Glow to the bars. Stretch the effect to match the clip length. And adjust the glow effect to 10. Add numbers or percent text above each bar if you want. That's animation two, crisp and modern. The third and final animation. Moving dot on swinging line. Drag in a triangle shape to the timeline as an overlay. Adjust its length to match your background. Click on the crop tool and crop it like so. Then hit apply. Make it smaller and center it. 
Now drag and drop your line to the timeline as an overlay, adjusting its length to match the rest of the layers. With the line selected, go to the Crop tool and crop it like so. Then click Apply. Make the line smaller and center it. In Basic Controls, scroll to rotate and add a keyframe at the start. Move 20 frames forward by holding Control and pressing the right arrow on your keyboard. Rotate the line slightly left. Move 20 frames again. Rotate slightly right. Keep alternating every 20 frames for a gentle swing. On the last keyframe, return the line to perfectly horizontal. Next, go to the Text tab and add a heading. Go to Basic, delete the text, and type in a dot. Move it up. Make it bigger. Center it. Go to Basic, pick a color you like, and enable Glow. Hold and drag the text to the start of the timeline, adjusting its length to match the rest of the layers. Move the playhead to the start and add a position keyframe on the dot. Click on the line layer and use the next keyframe arrow on the line layer to jump between line keyframes. At each keyframe, slide the dot left or right so it stays on the line. Repeat this process for all the line's keyframes. On the last keyframe, make sure to place the dot back in the center of the line. Since the line finishes in a horizontal position, I'll speed things up here so you can see in seconds. For a smooth result, zoom into the timeline. Select the dot layer. Hold Control and tap the right arrow to move one frame at a time. If the dot drifts off the line, nudge it back. Do this across the whole clip for a perfectly tracked motion. And that's Animation 3. Simple, satisfying, and professional. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Tell me in the comments which animation you'll try first. If you want to learn another simple effect, check out this tutorial. How to animate icons and graphics, smooth pop-in effects for your videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.